guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and in this video we're gonna talk about something that i don't see a lot of people talking about because it is really important and it could be a major source of discomfort for Didi at this moment. Now guys, we know that and it was a few days ago, we learned that Cassie filed a civil lawsuit against Didi, wherein she was suing him for $35 million on numerous allegations, such as being, you know, abused, you know, um, all the violent things that a man can do to a woman, do not leave any of them out. Cassie was accusing Diddy of that, um, including multiple sessions where she claimed she was sex trafficked and she was beaten to the point of memory loss. She was given drugs, alcohol. She had experienced Diddy, you know, taking a bag of guns to go get people. She was you know, R-A-P-E-D, and the list goes on. Now, immediately after Cassie had filed that lawsuit, it was settled within 24 hours. But things may not be over for Cassie and Diddy based on some checks that I've been doing. Because immediately after Diddy had settled that lawsuit with Cassie, we could see um, photographs of Didi appearing to be, you know, highly stressed. And even though we don't know what is going on in that moment, because it could be a moment before he had actually settled the lawsuit that came out after, what I have been following a few attorneys, and I'm talking about reputable people, and I have been paying attention, close attention. And when you look at the 35 pages and the things that Cassie has outlined, I believe that Cassie has opened a new door of opportunity for the FBI to finally get Diddy. And it could be a major source of stress and depression for him at this point because when you look at, um, you know, under what category the FBI operates, it is basically everything that Cassie had, you know, alleged in that lawsuit, right? When you think about the guns being trafficked, you know, being drugged, being beaten, you know, this has opened a new area of opportunity for some long-standing investigation against Diddy to be reopened. And as such, I believe that it could be possible where Cassie is grilled by the FBI because she seems to know a lot. And, you know, a few lawyers are basically, you know, saying that this is a possibility as well. It could be happening in the next coming days, we could see it in the next coming weeks, months, or maybe um, Diddy is powerful enough for it not to happen. Because if you remember, as I've said to you guys, the moment the report was made of the lawsuit, we saw media outlets saying that Diddy was being investigated by the police, right? And then always after, the very said media came back and said, Diddy was not being investigated. But what a few lawyers that are, you know, privy to is the fact that this lawsuit that Cassie initially filed against Diddy, it's not just gonna go away, even though that case is closed, that information that Cassie has shared um, has been very vital to the FBI who have been conducting some investigations. And it's not just 
having to do with Didi. It has to do with people's name who has been mentioned and attached to Diddy over the years. Again, people like Tupac, Big and Small, you know, Tupac, sorry, Big and Small, and we have Suge Knight because there are still a lot that, you know, they're not able to truly put together. Some of it they have been aware of because remember, even today, a clip of 50 Cent coming out to say that he was able to obtain images of Cassie with other men. And 50 said, if he wanted to get things out there, they would send him things and he got things out there. You know, it's really giving toxic vibes to hear 50 say that, right? But think about it. If Diddy had sent 50, you know, images of Cassie, it means that that clip is confirming that even when Cassie deleted those images, Diddy still had them backed up elsewhere. What does Diddy have saving elsewhere? Who knows? No one knows at this point. But the long-standing discussion has always been, is Diddy responsible for Tupac's debts? Most um, recently, we have... Um, Keith D that has been arrested, who they said, allegedly, basically said on a podcast that he was the man that Didi paid a million dollars, allegedly, to take out Tupac Shakur. But most recently, during the trial, Keith D said it wasn't him. He is innocent. So, what I'm understanding is that Cassie holds possibly a lot of answers to questions that the FBI um, has always had about Diddy. And as such, it may not be surprising for the FBI to be questioning Cassie a lot in the coming days, weeks, or months. And Diddy knows this. Hence why he settled quickly because he really did not want that to be out there based on what a few, just a few lawyers are highlighting this, right? And if you think about it, it makes sense. And if you go back to JLo and the shooting again, you know, where it said that did he basically gave JLo a gun to hide, basically? Yes, and there are numerous allegations going on out there as it relates to Didi. It's just as though an element has opened and it's all focusing on things that Didi has done from his past that is coming back to haunt him today. So I believe that as time passes, we're going to see if Didi becomes the center of an FBI investigation again or not. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Do you think that based on this lawsuit that Cassie has filed against Diddy, which Diddy settled within 24 hours, do you think that that basically gave the FBI a nudge to start investigating Diddy again? And do you think that Cassie will be grilled by the FBI for information on Didi. I want to hear from you guys. So let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Show your girls some love and see you all later. Bye guys.